Hey, it's Noel Gauthier from Hard Cider Campers on this appropriately cold and blustery day uh, to show you the second prototype of the Hard Cider Hard Camp. This is the unit, one of two units that we took to Overland Expo East and is the second total prototype that we built of our folding hard sided camper. So I'll kind of walk you through some of those details, uh, some of the things that we're excited about and that we think make it a little special. Several years ago, we did that thing where we got like really into overlanding and it got entirely out of hand and our trip started getting longer and our plans started getting kind of, you know, more international. And my wife was on a forum and we had two rooftop tents and she said, hey, I really want to do these trips in a hard sided camper. And I looked at our Tundra, I looked at our Tacoma and I was like, well, that's, that doesn't work with what we do. That doesn't work with the types of trips that we do. Uh, and she did that thing that spouses do where she said, solve it. Uh, so two years later of R&D, this is, this is where we've been headed. And what this is, is this is a folding hard-sided camper. We use a composite honeycomb material laminated with insulation uh, with a protective fabric covering that gives us a completely sealed and insulated way to fold a hard-sided camper. That lets us be lightweight, it keeps our center of gravity low, uh, but it also means that when you're inside, it's warm and cozy and doesn't feel like a tent. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit windy. Not really windy, it stopped. It was windy earlier, uh, but it's not flapping. It doesn't flap. Um, so it has that like solid, like hard camper feel inside. The other thing that we've done is we've moved what we kind of call like, it's like a cabin forward design. So you're not taking apart and unfolding the mattress. Uh, this area right here is the cabin. And this area here is where all of your gear goes, right? Cause you get in that scenario where you put all your stuff in your truck and then you live in your truck. Where do you put all your stuff? And what that allows us to do is take the entire bed, move it forward. So you can actually get in and out without disturbing anybody else who's sleeping in the bed. So as we move around the camper, you can kind of see the different pleats and folds as to how the whole system folds in on itself. These are vinyl windows right now. We will be switching those over to glass. This prototype has uh, our first full door prototype. We will be launching with a hatch so you can keep your tailgate as well as a full door tailgate delete. Over here, you can see the gutters that actually like channel rain away from the tent. We will also have an embedded linear actuator, which will push button open and close the tent. As we move forward, the way we do this is we have a cantilever section on our new racks. That cantilever will end about here, but this is how we're able to support uh, what we call the sleeper as it moves towards the truck. These brackets right here are our prototypes. Those will now be inside, but that actually allows you to remove the sleeper, but continue to use this as a canopy. So if you have off season or you wanna park your truck in a garage, you can remove and add the sleeper just like you would a rooftop tent. On the roof right now, we've got a 400 watt solar panel, but we also have options for what we call our galaxy windows, which are giant windows that can open on either side to allow light and fresh air in. And we also, on this one, we have our mushroom fan, so you can kind of keep air circulation regardless of the bad weather. For the front up here, besides all the bug carcasses, is our modular hinge system. So a lot of times people either want to be as slim as possible or they want to carry the opposite season up on the roof. Uh, these hinges, you can add more as you're adding weight to the roof to keep that strong. From inside the camper, uh, this particular configuration is a bench and shelf. So we have a bench on the passenger side and a shelf on the driver side. In this one, the bench has the EcoFlow Wave 2. So it has air conditioning, heat, and dehumidification inside the camper. So at Expo East, don't tell my company mates, but I was inside enjoying ice from the ice maker in the air conditioning and it was delightful. This unit over here is the shelf. This has our custom bag system. And with the door, this allows you to get any of your gear from inside or outside the camper. So if it's nice and you're cooking outside, you grab the cooking bag, cook outside. If you've got foul weather, you can do that from the inside as well. Also from the inside, you can access the garage, which is where all the gear lives, either from the access doors or inside. Up here we have the mattress, which has our folding mattress as well as the Froley system. So even like side sleepers like myself, that means that you're actually gonna get like a good sleep without like bottoming out. This one also has the EcoFlow power hub for electricity, five kilowatt battery on this one. Down here is the garage, it's like your utility cabinet. This is where you have water, power, any kind of like the utility stuff. And then you can kind of see the view outside from the windows. 
Right now our prototype units are in the like 400 to 450 pound range depending on specifications and builds start at 15,000 kind of going there depending on interior and if you want to find out more you can find us at hardsider.com.